Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing this full body slim fit ultra light TPU bumper case for the Huawei Watch GT2. So let's get started. If you're someone new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out the playlist app to find a dedicated playlist for Huawei smartwatches with more detailed videos like this one. In today's video, I'll review this full body slim fit TPU case for Huawei Watch GT2. I have reviewed such cases for a lot of smartwatches on this channel. I've linked few of them in the description of this video and at the end of this video in case if you are interested in comparing them with each other. Now I have been waiting for quite a while to get a case with a built in screen protector for my Huawei Watch GT2. The only case available up until now on Amazon where the body case without the screen protector like this one as shown in this image and the problem with them is they don't protect the screen from scratches the problem with gt2 is that it has this curved 3d glass so the body starts from around here and the exposed part is all glass and you know glass is glass and it'll break if you pay close attention i already have few scratches even though I consider myself a vigilant user to avoid damages. And I'm not a huge fan of adhesive screen protector on my watch. So I was waiting for this full body case. With all that being said, I'll review all the aspects starting from price, unboxing, build quality and show you the process of putting it on and off with all the pros and cons as well as my final say about it. So I got it from Amazon for only 11 Canadian dollar and since I'm an Amazon Prime member it was delivered in just two days despite of the COVID pandemic which is really appreciable. In case if you haven't tried Prime you're missing out a lot make sure to check out the link in the description of this video to try out Amazon Prime for absolutely no charge which includes free shipping, free services like Prime videos, Prime music and much more for no charge. You'll also find the link to get this particular case in the description of this video. So make sure to check the links out. So now that you know about the price and where to get it, let's see how it is. Nothing fancy in terms of unboxing, just came in a box like this one with a plastic holder and a wet as well as a dry wipe. Now there were four color options. I got the gray color as I'm not a huge fan of bright and fancy colors on my watch. But as you can see right here, there are options like silver, gold, rose gold and gray. So you can customize the styling as per your watch band and needs. Keep in mind all these are for Huawei Watch GT2 46mm version. If you have a 42mm version, these will not work on them. I have linked the case for the GT2 42mm and the full body case for the latest Huawei Watch GT2 E all in the description of this video. FYI the case was not sent to me for review by the seller and I paid the full price to provide my honest opinion. Alright now let's talk about the case. So this is a full body bumper case with a built in screen protector. This case has precise cutouts for both the buttons on this side and the cutout for speaker. I really like the attention to details where they have considered providing a speaker divider to match up with the original speaker cutout. They could have just left it all as a one cutout but I appreciate their effort. On the other side there is a cutout for microphone again precisely positioned. So let's start by showing you how to put this case on. So putting this case on is not an easy process. For me, I find that it's easier to start by putting the side with the button cutouts first on the watch and then work your way around. I think having a bit of a nail will be helpful in, for the installation process. I guess it's because of the buttons where you have to slide the buttons in the respective cutouts. You also have to ensure that the edges snap on perfectly at the back. I do appreciate the explicit edges and the curves to perfectly contour the watch including the screen of the watch. The case is transparent in a way that you are able to see all the numbers on the glass of the watch. Finally the screen is now protected from scratches and scuff. 
If you pay close attention, the screen protector has a dotted pattern so that the case does not stick with the screen and works meticulously with the touch receptiveness. Now once it's on, I don't think you need to take it off ever unless you want to change it for any reason. As the charging brick fits perfectly with the case on. Let me show it to you. This case is diligently designed in a way that you don't need to take it off for charging or wristband change as both can be done from the back without even taking the case off. Thank goodness and kudos to the manufacturer as what a pain it would be to put the case on and off every single time for charging and band change. Now this case has a glossy finish versus the matte finish. Personally, I would not even go with the matte finish as having a glossy finish adds more shine to the watch. Now let me show you how it looks on my wrist with and without the case. So as you can see, the case does add a bit of a bulk to already bulkier watch. So if you have a tiny wrist or forearm, this is something you want to consider before getting the watch in the first place. But for me, I think on my wrist, it looks great as I am more inclined on having a bold and imposing look. With all that being said, let's take this case off and wrap the video up with my final say. Now to take the case off is again not easy. I would recommend to start by sliding off the side without the button cutouts and you will have to wiggle your way around to get the case off the buttons. Be gentle and take your time as sometimes the case goes in between the body and the button and you have to wiggle it around to pop it out. So the application process is not as flawless as compared to other smartwatches I have tried in the past but again it's not a rocket science. Just be careful and be gentle. Now I have been using such cases on my other smartwatches and I personally haven't seen any contact damage on the body of the watch whatsoever. The seller claims this case to be a scratch proof case which is good to have and I think it will even protect your watch from a regular scuff or maybe even a fall or a drop. So this will be a good investment to protect your expensive watch if your work environment is not that smooth. This case is flexible and to me it seems like it's a fingerprint magnet and I find myself cleaning the case from the top once in a while during the day but the compromise is worth it considering the safety of the screen. So to wrap it all up, for just 11 Canadian dollar, I would highly recommend this full body bumper case as it does provide protection to the exposed glass of the Huawei Watch GT2 from scratches and scuffs, maybe even a drop. It definitely looks awesome and adds more shine to the watch. It's functional so you don't have to take it off for charging every time. The case does not even interfere with removing the wristband and it's overall very durable. The only downside is it's a fingerprint magnet and a bit difficult to apply on and off. But as I mentioned earlier to protect the exposed 3D curved glass of this Huawei Watch GT2 and 2E, this is a worth investment. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.